to get this balance between arranging for guitar and composing for guitar and and the dynamics that go into that and and the obsession that goes into that too because i'm just completely obsessed with the instrument and i have been since i picked it up in november of 63 on my 11th birthday describe that obsession uh what is it like for you do you have to have a guitar nearby and in your hands well i have one or two how many <laughs> yeah you've got it. so lawrence is referring if you're if you want to watch this interview on youtube he has i don't i can't count them i will count them before this interview is finished but uh there's a quite a few guitars right behind but that's, it. that's but, kind of the acoustic guitar component okay that's an obsession i would say <laughs> that could be an obsession or that could be uh you know well, requirement I mean, yeah, there, for is the something, career. there is a, a syndrome called guitar acquisition syndrome okay tell, tell yeah. me about that um which i i've managed to cure myself of pretty much <laughs> pretty but much I, well part of it was uh, with me, you know, a number of the instruments that I have were various prototypes of my signature model uh, with Martin guitars that went through various incarnations. So the obsession really is is not only in terms of the tactile actually playing the instrument, but also wood and tone and what one can do with a guitar that isn't what you would expect you could do with a guitar. And part of that for me is using altered tunings, for example. I, I use uh, dadgad tuning a lot, D-A-D-G-A-D, -A -D -A -D, which is where you tune the top two strings and the bottom string down a whole step. And that opens up uh, almost like a pianistic range of voicings and, and textures that aren't always accessible in standard tuning. Um, uh, and so when that's you learn that? kind of a passion for me. Yeah. Is that something that's almost an acquired skill that takes many years to? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not something you can necessarily uh, really get into the depth of overnight, but, but it's part of my arranging process. Cause I, I really consider myself as much as I'm obsessed with the guitar. I consider myself to be a musician who plays the guitar. That because I've had I've studied musicology, I've studied music theory, I've practiced all of that. Um, and so the guitar really, it becomes a vehicle, you know, Segovia described it as like having an orchestra in your lap. And for me, that's very much the case. But in, it's not just an orchestra, it's a big band, it's a rock band, it's, it's a folk group, it's whatever is appropriate to the musical substance involved. 